Right guys, what is going on and welcome to Simple Rockets 2 and today I am just doing sort of an intro to a new series that I'm developing which is the Realism series for Simple Rockets 2. Now it's going to be like realistic career mode and this is just a demo of what that is. So I've made a little program, it's going to be, the series is going to be program only. All that and the only way I can fly these vessels is it by programs unless it's manned. If it's manned then I can do some hand controls. But it's either going to be pro program operated or like auto burns and maneuvers and stuff like that. So, what we have here, I've developed a launch failure system. And there's going to be, the whole way through the launch and mission, there's going to be failures that can crop up. So, what we have to do on a launch, we can't do anything yet. Nothing will launch. What we have to do, we have to run a systems check. So, we'll do that. We'll activate the systems check so it's going to check for faults if there's a fault you have to abort the mission and delay the flight which is going to be a cost to our career because that's going to cost us a day so that will be launch fee uh, stand fees and stuff like that so that's going to be an extra cost right and then then what we're doing here is we have to load the fuel now there is a chance that during fuel load the pressure could get too much and it could explode the craft or just abort the mission altogether because there's a fuel leak somewhere. So you load the fuel, it, it has a random time set for fuel loading. It's just basically, it takes a random amount of time. It shouldn't be too long, it's only within like 200 seconds or something like that. But yeah, it's just a little bit of a more realistic approach. I know it doesn't take two seconds to load up the fuel, especially on a rocket like this. But yeah, I just used this rocket as a demonstration. So as you can see, it said that our fuel was loading. So we've just got to wait to get confirmation because we can't do anything else until we've actually gotten confirmation. The system is locked. The, the computer is locked it won't do anything unless the fuel is loaded and it's checked with the computer that the fuel has loaded successfully so we'll just wait for that and it should come up on the screen at some point once the fuel has loaded or whether or not it has not loaded and caused a problem so yeah it can cause an explosion which would be pretty spectacular but obviously there's there's a fault the failure that will cost money and you know time as well in our career that we're going to be doing our realistic uh some rockets to career so yeah just waiting for this fuel to load i might reduce the time a little bit just because it does seem to take a while sometimes but you know fuel loading is not a quick process there we go fuel loaded continue mission so the computer is getting the readout that the fuel has been loaded successfully there's been no failure there and we can continue the mission so the next step is obviously initiating the launch countdown and after launch countdown i'm going to show you a failure i've just set it to to, to go um there's a random there's a chance in the first five or ten seconds that the engines can fail or the computer will get a readout that is not correct from the engines so it will have to shut down so anyway we'll put that on there so it's starting launch countdown the computer is ready to go guidance is set nine seven six five four three two one lift off and there we go, we've got an engine problem detected and now that was a little bit later than what I, what has normally happened and as you can see that has caused a little bit of damage there, uh oh, oh there we go, we just have had a massive failure, so the engines had sent a signal to the computer telling it that there was a problem it had to abort, it, can't, it shut off the engines and obviously because it was too far after the launch it caused a massive, massive failure. But yeah, that is what we're going to be doing in this series. Failures that can happen, obviously it's not going to happen all the time. Um, that was just a demonstration of what can happen. I mean the last time I tested that, it literally as soon as launched, 
as soon as the engine fired the shut off again so there was no failure there so that was okay to go for another launch but yeah that is going to be a problem with our career failures coming to simple rockets 2 in this series so if you if you're interested in this series you want to see it then do let us know put it in the description put it in the comments uh, description don't mean this description put it in the comments that you want to see this series and you want to see these failures happen and yeah we'll give it a go and uh thank you very much for watching i'll see you hopefully in the next video